Rogers and family is Colonel General Kirby. He's being escorted by Colonel Jones, Commanding Officer, Recruit Training Regiment, Marine Corps Group Depot, Paris Island, South Carolina. Colonel Turley was born in 1931 in Cedric, Colorado. He enlisted in the Marine Corps and served as a rifleman during the Korean War. Upon his return to the United States, he was commissioned as second lieutenant and completed the basic school at Quantico, Virginia in 1954. During the period from April 1954 to 1967, his Marine Corps career consisted of various infantry battalion assignments, with 8th Marines and 2nd Marine Division, Executive Officer, Marine Detachment, Headquarters Commander-in-Chief, Athletic Fleet at Norfolk, Virginia, <coughs> Company Commander, 3rd Battalion, 3rd Marine Division, Commanding Officer, Company K, 3rd Battalion, and later the Battalions as for Logistics Officer. Various assignments with 1st Marine Division, which included 3 years with the 1st Force Reconnaissance Company, Attended both parachutes and scuba training. 24 months with INI staff, 1st Air Delivery Company, San Jose, California. Various assignments in Vietnam. Regimental S4 with 7th Marine Regiment, 1st Marine Division, 3rd Battalion, 7th Marines, as S3 Operations Officer, a battalion's executive officer. During this period, Colonel Turley received the Bronze Star Medal for heroism during combat in Operations Arizona. On 19 July 1967, he was wounded in action and was twice awarded the Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry. In December 1967, he transferred to Marine Corps Crew Depot San Diego and served as Executive Officer, their Crew Training Battalion, and the Depot Weapons Training Battalion. In December 1970, he was assigned to 4th Marine Division, United States Marine Corps Reserve, as Assistant G3 Plans Officer, and was promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. In February 1972, Colonel Turley returned to Vietnam and was assigned to the Marine Advisory Unit, Vietnamese Marine Corps. He was in Quang Tri Province when the North Vietnamese Army launched a massive surprise attack and he was cited for his actions to halt the enemy's three division attack. Colonel Turley remained in battle area until after the 1973 ceasefire was signed. During this period, he was awarded seven personal decorations and was one of the last United States Marines to leave the I Corps of Vietnam. In 1973, Colonel Turley was assigned to the Department of Defense, a special task force to tour and assess the October Middle East battlefields. From June 1976 to 1981, he served in numerous billets, such as the Commanding Officer, 2nd Marine Regiment, Special Project Officer, G3, 2nd Marine Division, Director Operations and Training, G3, Combined Arms Command, and 7th Marine Amphibious Brigade. Colonel Turley retired in 1981. In September 1984, he received a presidential appointment from Ronald Reagan, the Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense. During succeeding years, he has continued to serve Headquarters Marine Corps and the Marine Corps Commandants. Colonel Turley's awards include the Silver Star, two Bronze Stars, three Legion of Merit, Meritorious Service Medal, Purple Heart, Combat Action Ribbon, Four Republic of South Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry, Armed Forces Honor Medal, and upon completing his presidential appointment, he received the second highest civilian award, the Medal of Merit. Colonel Turley has several written books, The Eastern Offensive, The Last American Advisors, Journey of a Warrior, 29th Commandant.
During the past review, we ask that the national colors pass before you. Please rise. After they have passed, please be seated.